Always a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And every expectation that this will be a captivating contest. It's Arsenal up against Olympiacos. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Looking forward to today. Should be in for a good game. Let's hope we see a quick start from both teams. Set the tempo for the rest of the match. He brings so many different skills to the table, doesn't he? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. Potentially one to Sabre. Arsenal get this game underway. David Luiz. Bukayo Saka and now with Aubameyang and he takes it away and the emphasis is on creativity crossing opportunity well time just challenged magnificently fine teamwork to win it back Mohamed Madi Kamara. Kamara. Bruma. Dangerous looking attack. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Might be able to set up the chance. And he's through. It has to be, surely. And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, just look at this. Just look at the strength. Just look at the determination. Fending players off. And a brilliant finish, too. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. The opening goal of the game, then. Mohamed Madi Kamara. Bukhalakis. Konstantinos Fortunis. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Space and time for the cross. And intercepted it. Opportunity here. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Thomas. And good pressure high up the pitch. 
clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. Good visualisation and execution. This looks threatening. Can he make it count? Oh, a finish of real class! No wonder he's celebrating. Take a bow. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And then just look at this finish. Just entices the keeper in. And it's a lovely dink to deceive him. Fantastic goal. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, a second goal for them here. Buchalakis. Mvila. Jan Mvila now. This looks promising. Chance to cross. Strong play here. Accurate ball in towards the near post. And cleared away. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas. A chance to eat into their lead. And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. So there we have it, 2-1. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Martinelli. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Tierney. Top class defending. And we will have just one additional minute. Socrates doing the thwarting. Can he convert? The first half here comes to an end. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, he's had a stormer, hasn't he? Scored a goal. He's certainly troubled all the defenders around there as well. I think there's more to come in the second half. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Bruma. Kenny Lala. Bruma in possession. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Gabriel Martinelli. It is to be a throw-in. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. 
Getting in there to intercept. El Arabi. Well, that is how to run it. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. Well, you cannot put in an illegal challenge under those circumstances. Red card it is. Well, he didn't even look for it, did he? He didn't wait. For the referee, he knew it was coming. Off he goes. Not too bad win. Oh, good strike! Well, that was close to free kick perfectionly. Yeah, just didn't quite get enough dip on it, did he? Over the wall, but just over the bar as well. Arsenal struggling in terms of possession, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Now the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. Mohamed Madi Kamara. Konstantinos Fortunis. Looks promising this. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. Well, there it is, real resilience for you, having been two goals down. Well, here's the replay, and it's a horror show. A poor pass leads to the goal, and he may well be apologising to his teammates very soon, Derek. It's an unforced error, it really is. Well, a glut of goals, two apiece. Kieran Tierney. Bukayo Saka. And now with Aubameyang. This looks promising. Well cleared away. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Here it is now, a substitution. Arsenal couldn't keep the ball. Valbuena. That's a well-struck pass. Now let's see if something comes of this. Valbuena. Really closing him down. Couldn't keep it. Now he must favour the cross. Nicola Pepe and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position might take the lead oh it's a goal playing a man short doesn't seem to bother them they hit the front well here's the replay you've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper they're simply not there slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored.
What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ten minutes left for play in this match. With the noses in front in the second half, what will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? With a narrow lead and the clock ticking, it's so easy for the Arsenal players to lose concentration. Asking the ref... It's there for him! And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And space for the cross. Socrates. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Konstantinos Fortunis. Not an especially strong challenge. Well, it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Opportunity it is. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. But then there's still plenty to do from here. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he just about keeps him at bay and finishes with a plomb. Great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Moving into the advanced position. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. And Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one, Lee. Well, Derek, when the lead was extended to a two-goal margin... You can almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager too. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.